The movie opens with an 11-year-old schoolboy, Leo, who is very passionate about wrestling and dreams of becoming a successful WWE wrestler. He is such a die-hard fan of the sport that he has numerous wrestling toys as well as a closet full of wrestler-themed t-shirts in his room. Wait until someone tells him it's fake. Leo lives with his father, Steve, and his grandmother, Denise, both supportive of his wrestling enthusiasm. His mother seems to have left the family for some reason, but the boy doesn't know the whole story. One morning, Leo dreams of himself fighting in a ring and defeating a popular WWE wrestler. However, the dream is cut short when his grandmother abruptly wakes him up. En route to school, Leo meets up with his two best friends, Caleb and Riaz, who are also obsessed with wrestling. As a result, the trio talk about it all the way. When they enter the school premises, they see a notice about the junior wrestling competition. Leo wants to sign up, but he also feels that he's too small and would be beaten up. Amidst their conversation, they are approached by a group of bullies led by Trevor. He calls Leo a coward, claiming that he's too afraid to actually wrestle with anyone. This enrages our boy, and he thinks of retaliating, but just then, a teacher shows up and fends the bullies off. Later, during lunchtime, Leo's attention is grabbed by a fellow female student, Erica, whom he seems to have a crush on. He wants to give her the suplex. His distraction results in him spilling his lunch, creating an awkward moment. After school, Leo prepares to head back home when he is intercepted by the bully one more time. Not wanting to get humiliated, Leo tries to escape, but they begin chasing him. He rides his bicycle as fast as he can and eventually enters a house holding an estate sale. He quickly runs upstairs and hides in one of the rooms. The bullies run after him, but the man in charge of the real estate sale catches and sends them away. Meanwhile, inside the room, Leo finds a box that contains an old wrestling mask. As soon as he takes it out, the man in charge walks in. He asks if he is with those kids, to which Leo responds that they were chasing him. Realizing that he is being bullied, the kind man allows him to keep the mask. Maybe it'll toughen you up, you little wiener. In the next scene, Leo and his grandmother are watching wrestling on TV. When they see an ad for an upcoming WWE tournament, they are even more intrigued to hear that the winner will get a huge sum of $50,000 and a WWE contract. The same night as Leo is working on his school assignment, he overhears an argument between his father and his grandmother. At this moment, the boy learns that his father is working multiple jobs as he needs to pay $20,000 for the mortgage or else they'll lose the house. All of these revelations make the boy sad, and he really wants to help his family. Not long after, he suddenly remembers the earlier mask and proceeds to try it on. As soon as he puts it on, his voice inexplicably deepens, and he takes on a very strong personality. Furthermore, the mask also provides him with super strength and agility, in addition to having made his balls drop, which is evident when he catches the entire closet with a single finger. Perplexed, he takes off the mask, which causes the change to fade away. Way. This makes Leo realize that the mask has literal superpowers. In order to put his newfound power to the test, he goes to the garage where he easily bends steel and even lifts up a car. Following this, he runs back to his room and does some research regarding the mask. He eventually learns that only a genuinely deserving champion can use its powers. The last time a wrestler wore this mask was almost 50 years ago. The following day at school, Leo notices the same bully gang assaulting his friends. This time, he decides to to confront them. He grabs the legendary mask and asks them to leave. When the bullies charge at Leo, he switches off the lights, puts on the mask, and beats their asses to the pulp. In the aftermath of this event, Leo thinks of entering the WWE tournament in order to earn the money so that he can pay off his father's debt. Thus, he returns back home and tries out various outfits until he finally finds a perfect one that suits him. Later in the evening, Leo goes to the tournament venue for an audition. When he arrives there, he comes across several other participants participants, who appear to be very strong and huge. Upon entering, the woman at the reception demands that he give her the wrestler name for himself. In a quick thought, the boy comes up with the name Kid Chaos. After this, Leo tries to converse with the other wrestlers, but the only one who is nice to him is Smooth Operator. He looks pretty strong, but he has a very soothing singing voice. Just then, another giant wrestler enters the scene with his manager Frankie. The manager introduces his client as Samson, who appears to be a very dangerous fighter. A short while later, a popular WWE wrestler, The Miz, walks up to the stage to host the audition program. As the event begins, the 
participants undergo various strength and agility tests, with Leo excelling in each and every stage. His friends watch the event on TV, but they have no idea who is actually behind the mask. At the end of the event, Leo is finally selected to compete for the tournament. Now that it's already late, Leo sneaks into his house by the window, but his grandmother catches him anyway. She demands to know where he had been, to which the boy confides everything in her. He also believes that he can win $50,000, which can settle all of their debts. Upon hearing this, Denise agrees, but she makes him promise that he won't let himself get hurt. The next day at school, Leo is with his friends in the library when he spots his crush. This time, he decides to use his magical mask to talk to her. The mask immediately boosts his confidence level, after which he's able to grab her interest. He also manages to get her phone number and decides to call her later. However, that evening, Erica shows up at his house anyway as she was just passing by. Seeing her in person, Leo gets nervous because he is just himself without the mask. Regardless, he gathers enough courage to converse with her, trying his best to leave a positive impression. He daydreams about how next time he'll give her the tombstone. The scene then fast forwards to the tournament day. Leo has his first bout with a wrestler named Big Billy Beavers. As the fight begins, Leo struggles to gain the upper hand for the first few moments, but he eventually manages to defeat the opponent using his mask powers. In the second match, he faces another wrestler, Stink Face, who initially distracts him with his smelly hair. Regardless, the boy overcomes the distraction and strikes his opponent with a strong headbutt, leading him to victory. Apart from this, Leo also starts to spend more time with Erica as she joins his friend group. One day, the four friends go for lunch at a restaurant where they converse about their interests. During this, Leo motivates Erica to join an upcoming talent show at school as she is a great dancer. When the latter hesitates, Leo even offers to join her on stage, which eventually convinces her. Amidst their conversation, a thug suddenly barges into the restaurant and threatens the cashier for money. Sensing the imminent threat, Leo hurriedly dons his mysterious face mask in front of his friends and confronts the thug. With his increased strength, he beats up the criminal, teaching him a lesson. The friends are left awestruck by the revelation and start considering him a superhero. In the days to come, Leo has more fights and he manages to win all of them one after another. Gradually, the boy makes it to the semifinals and now he will be facing Smooth Operator. On the other hand, tensions rise between Steve and Denise over his ex-wife. Steve doesn't want to break his son's heart by telling him the truth. Turns out that Leo's mother actually left them because she found another man in New York. Denise believes that Leo is a smart boy who can handle the truth, but Steve simply wants to keep him away from the pain. The day of the talent show arrives, but Leo also has semifinals on the very same day. As a result, he promises Erica to make it to the competition as soon as his match ends. The wrestling event begins, and the first match is between Samson and a long-haired wrestler. The latter does everything he can to take Samson down, but he is clearly no match. Samson grabs him and slams him down, resulting in an easy victory. With this, the big guy becomes the first one to secure his position in the finals. The next bout is between Leo and Smooth Operator. Moments before the match begins, Frankie spills some oil in Leo's way, making his shoe slippery. As a consequence, the boy struggles to maintain his posture. Since he can barely stand, Smooth Operator starts beating him up and tosses him out of the ring. But despite the initial struggle, Leo somehow manages to fight back and strikes his finishing move, Chaos Beam, ultimately leading to his victory. After the match, Leo is approached by his friends backstage to congratulate him for his win. The boy removes his mask to talk to them, reverting him back to his original form. At this point, Frank, who is secretly keeping an eye on him from a distance, learns that Kid Chaos is just a boy with a magical mask. Just then, some media reporters summon Leo for an interview. As he walks out, he is surprised that he now has fans who cheer for him. Following this, he begins interacting with them, causing him to lose track of the time. Meanwhile, at the talent show, Erica requests the host shift her performance to last because her partner hasn't arrived yet. However, Leo doesn't show up, so she prepares to dance alone. Just when it seems her performance is about to be ruined, Caleb joins her on stage and offers to dance with her. She immediately agrees, and they end up stealing the show with their impressive moves. Shortly after the event ends, Leo finally arrives, but he doesn't seem apologetic at all. He believes that his wrestling is much more important, which 
makes his friends even more upset, but not nearly as upset as Uncle Ben is going to be. In the next scene, Leo returns home, clearly disturbed by how his friends reacted. Seeing his distress, Denise goes to talk to him, asking him to open up. He then confesses that he thought the mask would solve all of his problems, but things are only getting worse. In response, his grandmother tells him that it's not the mask that should be blamed, because it's Leo who should decide when and how to use it. After reflecting on his actions, the boy acknowledges his mistake and regrets his behavior. As a result, he goes to talk to his friends the very next day and apologizes for his rude demeanor, soon making up with them. The scene then cuts to the tournament finals, a non-disqualification cage match. Before the long-awaited match begins, Frankie and Samson approach Leo in the changing room with ill intentions. Frankie distracts Leo in conversation, while Samson quietly switches his magical mask with a regular one. Leo, who is unaware of the swap, dons the regular mask and makes his way to the ring. As soon as the fight begins, his weakness is exposed as the big guy begins pummeling him. The boy tries his best to fight back, but he's outmatched by Samson's strength. After beating up Leo for a while, Samson reveals the magical mask and throws it away, causing it to get stuck in the cage. This makes the boy realize that the one he's wearing isn't the real one. Leo then takes off the mask, shocking everyone in the crowd. Even Steve, who is watching from home, is stunned to discover that Kid Chaos is none other than his son. Concerned about his safety, he rushes to the tournament venue. In the meantime, Samson and continues to dominate the boy in the ring. At one point, the big guy throws him in the air, but the latter manages to hold on to the cage. What are you doing up there? He then hurriedly starts to climb towards his mask. On Frankie's instruction, Samson chases the boy to the top. Amidst this intense moment, Leo figures out that the big guy is afraid of heights, so he dares him to look down. As Samson does so, he passes out and falls due to fear. Leo then uses this opportunity to jump down on him and strikes him with an elbow, ultimately pinning him down. Following this victory, The Miz walks up to the stage to hand over the prize to Leo. Although the boy receives the prize money, he's informed by wrestling officials that he's too young to compete in WWE. However, they assure him a place in the organization once he gets older. As a result of this, Leo decides to pass his wrestling contract to his fellow wrestler. Smell. Two weeks later, Leo is seen participating in the school's junior wrestling competition, now displaying full confidence without the mask. The movie ends as he faces his bully, with his dad cheering him proudly from the audience.